Thank you so much for the upcoming Wonderful to Meet You. So are you looking forward to the film? I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. No, I'm an Ardman fan, so uh, I can't wait to see it. And obviously the theme of the film deals with sci-fi which uh, and obviously the 50th anniversary of the 11th moon landing. So um, is that sort of is that quite exciting for you to watch how they're going to deal with that? It is hugely exciting. Yeah, there's been so much happening this year in space in particular because of the 50th anniversary. But you know, also we're ramping up for going back to the moon in 2024. There's a lot going on right now, as you can imagine, to get us ready for those missions. So it's really good that you know space is becoming you know so prevalent in movies and uh, in every everybody's minds right now. It really engages children in the other world, you know, a world around them. So uh, what projects are you on working on right now? Well, currently I'm still with European Space Agency, working as head of astronaut operations, which is really exciting. So for example, we have Luca Parmitano, my classmate from Italy, is on board the space station right now. Uh, and Thomas Pesque from France will go after him. So that whenever we have a European in space, we're very busy making sure that mission goes as smoothly as possible. So it's great to be, you know, supporting them while I'm on the ground. I think for a number of different reasons, but you know, space is, is where the cutting edge technology is. It's where we're pushing the boundaries. What we ask of industry, what we ask of our companies when we're going to space is phenomenal. I mean, it has to be the best, whether it's propulsion systems, whether it's the support systems, habitation modules in the surface of the moon. I mean, this is absolute cutting edge stuff. So it's no surprise that you know, people are really interested in the uh, I think that probably was, uh, one of the ones I liked was, was the wrong trousers as well, because we actually have to wear a, a pair of trousers in space, which is just like that, is to help prepare us for coming back to Earth. They're called like, like negative, negative gravity trousers, in fact. Like so, G-suit trousers. Yeah, like G-suit trousers, but it, it looks just like the wrong trousers. So many producers are, that's what I love. Actually, yesterday, I was at Space Rock in the O2, where we were kind of celebrating art and music and culture, but all inspired by space. And it's unbelievable, you, you meet people from all sorts of walks of life where space is become a factor um, and certainly in terms of movies I mean it's so inspirational you think of you know like interstellar when we're talking about you know humans traveling out of the solar system or whether it's the Martian and we're talking about actually colonizing another planet being able to live and work on another planet I mean it's really where the creativity is and what uh, producers make it is wonderful.